Hello there. If you believe in your dreams, children, don't be put off by those who say dreams will never come true. If they do, just think about Solar Impulse, because there are many aviation specialists who said this would also be impossible. But you have to be passionate about your dreams, because you will face challenges and have to work out how to overcome them or work around them. But when you do, oh, what satisfaction. As for passion, Bertrand Picard has it in droves, and courage to match. I'm not passionate. It's too much like hard work. It's because of these attributes. He was the first person to fly around the world in a balloon, 20 days nonstop. In a balloon? But you are also a champion balloonist, remember, Grumo? Hey! How do I get down? Oh. Whoa. Very funny. So after his balloon exploits, he set himself a new challenge. Prove to mankind it could continue its march of progress thanks to clean energy. His idea was to build a solar-powered plane to fly right around the world. So, in 2003, Bertrand Picard met André Borschberg, a brilliant engineer, entrepreneur, and fighter pilot. From that meeting, the Solar Impulse Project was born. Tasks were split as follows. André would design and build the plane, which would become a veritable flying techno laboratory. Bertrand would travel the world looking for manufacturers at the cutting edge of these technologies. He would also find investors and, above all, spread the message of the importance of clean technologies within political spheres. Then both explorers took it in turns to test their invention. Hmm, getting paid cash to travel the world, what a great idea! Think I'm gonna become an explorer. <laughs> well, good to see you're ambitious, Grumo, but careful, being an explorer is tiring. So, on July the 8th, 2010, after seven years of research and testing, Solar Impulse 1 entered the history books by completing the world's first nocturnal solar-powered flight. 400 hours of test flights later, the plane can also add flying over Europe, Africa, and the United States to its list of achievements. But our two explorers wanted even more. The aim? A journey of 35,000 kilometers, 22,000 miles, right around the world, and all completed without a single drop of fuel, because... Yeah, yeah, we know. It's all about the future of mankind and the planet. So you understand when you want to. For this challenge, Bertrand and André needed a new plane able to fly various days in a row and without stopping. Thus, the idea of Solar Impulse 2 was born. It would be even more resilient and lighter than its older sibling. As for the pilots, they would also have to face extreme conditions and live day and night in a very small cockpit full of surprises. We'll see. So, Maestro, what happens if an engine stops working? Well, the other three will take over until the broken engine can be repaired at the next stopover. What would happen if a thunderbolt struck the plane? <laughs> uh, the plane would be immediately... <sighs> How should I put this? Destroyed. But uh, to avoid that kind of incident, there is the MCC, Mission Control Center in Monaco. I will tell you about that very soon. It's in continual contact with the pilot, so for example, it can tell him to change course in the event of some unexpected bad weather.